Today we are showing you the main tips and tricks of wall stenciling and we have chosen one of our most popular stencil patterns, Flower of Life. Here's what you need. A stencilette stencil, a dense foam roller, acrylic or latex interior paint, painter's tape, a paint tray, old newspapers or household paper. Firstly, base coat your wall surface with a latex-based paint. It is best to stencil onto a smooth surface. A simple tip is, the smoother the surface, the better the result. Mask off the baseboard in the corners of the walls with the painter's tape. Now we can start stenciling. For attaching the stencil on the wall, use painter's tape for a spray adhesive. We suggest starting from one of the corners of the wall. Use water-based paint. It has little odor, it's almost odorless, and it dries fast and the tools can be cleaned with water. Now the important part. We highly recommend using a flock roller for stenciling. Firstly, it has rounded edges which do not leave sharp marks when stenciling. And most importantly, it does not hold too much paint which is important when stenciling and means that the paint cannot seep onto the stencil. Load the flock stencil roller evenly with paint in a paint tray. Now, with a fully loaded flock roller, don't go straight on the wall. Remove excess paint by rolling over a stack of paper towels or absorbent newspapers. This way, you are rolling the paint into the roller and away from the surface and preventing paint from seeping under. Less paint is more in stenciling. Now we can move on to the wall. Use an even, not too heavy pressure on the roller as you roll over the stencil surface. The most important sign to notice that you have taken the right amount of paint is when you see a thin layer of paint. Our best practice is stencil it layer by layer. By seeing the thin layer of paint, you already know that the paint is not seeping anywhere under the stencil. Roll over the surface a couple of more times to achieve a darker print. And that's about it. You can check the pattern by opening one of the corners of the stencil. You can reposition the stencil straight away. stencil -lit stencils are designed to lock in with itself when repositioning. Connection points are always in the corners. No need to wait until it dries. The thin layer of paint will dry very quickly. All the same tips and tricks are described in the illustrated instructions, which is included in your stencil order.